What's up guys? So today is Monday, homecoming week, exciting week here, um, CSP, playing Sioux Falls this week. So I just thought I would uh, make a vlog, kind of go over the daily things I'm doing every day as a football player, as a student athlete. And obviously with this week being homecoming, maybe some of the special and unique festivities and activities that we're going to be doing. A day in my life, a week in my life, whatever it is. So yeah, we got started this morning, uh, had a good workout in, good way to start the week always. I'm here eating breakfast now, just got a couple of eggs, some toast, glass of milk, pretty basic breakfast, but nothing too special planned for today. I have a, I got a couple packages coming in, ordered some clothes, we can unbox those together. Other than that, it was a, it was a beautiful morning this morning, sunrise was very pretty. I guess that's it for now. I will uh, I will catch up with you guys next. So something I like to try to do as much as I can is um, just get some yoga in. Got my little, uh, I call my yoga studio here. Got my yoga mat. Um, usually like to just put the put a course up there on the TV. Uh, if you're looking for something, looking for somebody, Sean Vig Fitness is really good. And then breathe and flow. Put some clips together of me doing that. Done with yoga now. Like I said, it's kind of just refreshing to get a get a good stretch in, just get your body moving a little bit. Out for the day, try to get out of the sun here. This is gonna be an all Abercrombie fit. Um, I feel like throughout this week, if I'm doing outfits of the day every day, it's gonna be pretty obvious that I would say about 95% of my closet is either Abercrombie or thrifted. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of that, but just got the Abercrombie, I don't even know what material you would call this, not really cargo, but camo shorts, and then pretty much just a washed brown vintage style t-shirt from Abercrombie. Kind of just matches the browns together well. I, I would like to go pants, but even though it is October 2nd now in St. Paul, it's still a high of 88 degrees, which is kind of crazy. So no pants today, um, it's gonna get colder. Cold around during the rest of the week, start to feel like more like fall, so be able to bring out the pants a little bit. Like I was saying in the intro, I've got a couple pairs of pants that just got delivered. I think we're gonna move on to doing an unboxing of those now, so. All right, so we're here in the uh, sunroom now. Got two pairs of pants. Got a vintage pair, um, like a darker gray washed uh, double knee card car hit in the back. Obviously, I think for me personally and going around, this is kind of the, the style, the fashion right now of wearing these boxy or wider fitting um, pants. The size tag on these is 40-32. Obviously, I'm not a 40, but a little, a little trick, a little hack I like to do with my clothes, um, I guess my pants in specific is, um, I take a, <clears throat> make a little incision here, take a shoelace, just run it all the way through, a um, little incision, bring it out the other side. That way I can tie it up in the middle, tie it as tight or as loose as I want. Um, and I feel like for me it's just better fitting than trying to trying to find a belt. Um, I don't know if you're going to see the color, but these are like a, almost like an olive green type color. Again, Carhartt, I'll show some details, but you can see there's a lot of wear on the pockets here. Um, down here on the bottom there's a good amount of wear um, on the cuffs there as well. But either way, I'm gonna try both these on. Get them fitting good, look good. Um, I'll show you what they look like for you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up guys, so afternoon now, just got done editing uh, first five minutes of the video. Probably my, my favorite part about 
doing stuff like this is just being able to do more of the post-production, use creative techniques and stuff like that. I take a lot of influence from other videos, other vlogs, things I see on social media. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always trying to build my brand. It's really cool for me, it's really fun for me to be able to see something, you know, play out the way I'm hoping it will, so. 1.30 now, got meetings at 3.30 and practice after that, so might get some food quick and just hang out until then. All right, guys, we are back home now. Um, got home from practice a little while ago. Got showered, cleaned up. Now I am just sitting in the bed. Got a, got some pasta. I'm watching some Monday Night Football. Uneventful second half of the day at least, but hopefully we're gonna be doing some fun stuff the rest of the week. Uh, get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow. Got class, so still gonna be hot. But yeah, that's uh, that'll be it for the night. Catch you guys in the morning. Also, I know. My hair looks busted right now, as Brock would say, but I'm getting a haircut uh, this week, so don't worry about it. Uh, it'll be good by the game. All right. Good morning, guys. Tuesday morning. I'm going to make my bed quick and then have a conversation with you guys, so. All right. There we go. Sit down and have a little conversation. I think something for me that I've been really thinking about is just the idea of perspective. You know, this morning I was kind of, I kind of woke up with the, the realization that um, perspective is a lot of what you make it. There's going to be, there's going to be times when I'm older, when I'm wishing I, I was where I'm at now. There's obviously a lot of people who are a lot worse off. And so for me, I think it's just been important for me to remember to be, to be patient, um, to really enjoy where I'm at and honestly just enjoy the highs and the lows. So that's something that's easy to really say, but obviously it's not easy to enjoy the lows when you're in the moment. But yeah, that's just something that, you know, God's been putting in my heart recently. You know, it's something for me to talk about for myself, really. And if, if whoever's listening is trying to hear that, it's hopefully it's helpful as well. But have perspective and understand that where you're at is where you're at for a reason. In the end, um, you know, God's plan for where you're at is good. So I'm going to get ready for the day now. Got one class this afternoon. Got to take a test online. Got practice. Campus group tonight. Maybe gonna go out to Tono's. So one of the best, one of the best restaurants in St. Paul. If you're ever looking for somewhere to go. So yeah. All right. Let's go get ready. ready now got some breakfast got dressed uh, I'm not gonna do a huge outfit of the day it's pretty basic obviously it's gonna be hot out again today so just got the Lulu shorts on got the uh, Jesus is King Kanye merch gonna head out soon for class got practice later like I mentioned nothing too crazy yet this morning um, keep you guys up to date all right guys what's up we're here at uh, C group we're gonna go around and everybody's going to say their favorite movie I'll start with Brock Smokey and the Bandit. Brody's on, Brody's on the phone. We'll go to Nolan here. Definitely not Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, Shawshank Redemption. Good one. Okay, we're here with Kraft. Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. Wow, a real thriller. A real psychological thriller. We're here with Evan. Kevin, favorite movie? We Bought a Zoo. It covers every single uh, like genre. So it's like a rom-com. It's a coming-of-age movie. It's a drama. It's a comedy. Like, it's literally everything. That's a great answer. And our last one here, Brody. Um, Deuce Deuce Hazard's good. What's the, what's the one with the 30-year-old bartender from Philadelphia? Brock's changing his answer. Goodwill Hunting. Say it again. Ooh, every other. Ooh. Alrighty guys, so it makes the days longer when you're vlogging it, when you're trying to record everything and get good shots. Definitely makes the days feel longer, so Wednesday tomorrow, it's gonna get cool. Be able to throw some fits together, some real fits. I think tomorrow morning we're going to go to the thrift store and see if we can find some, some fall weather items. New jeans, new cool new pants, new denims. Um, I need some more flannels, some jackets. 
you know, I'm just, I'm really lucky to have um, a group of guys that I got to hang out with tonight, you know, just talk about the word, get into our Bibles a little bit. I'm just really, really lucky and really blessed to, to have a group of guys that, you know, I can, I can talk to about anything. I can come to good times, bad times, you know, and just, just having that, having that group of guys around you is something that not a lot of people have. So yeah, I would just, anybody's wondering, anybody's interested, I would consider, you know, looking into that um, discipleship group and, you know, just starting getting your Bible, reading it a little bit. Better start somewhere than nowhere. All right, guys, that'll be that'll be it for the night. Yeah, catch y'all tomorrow. Are you trying to get a ski you right now? Or what? What are you doing? You want to ski? Yeah. Workout number two of the week done. Everybody go follow Carter Auto on Instagram. Dude is a beast. Good looking. Great football player. Um, everybody just go check him out. Give him a follow. About 60 degrees out. Feeling good. I'm about to get home. Get dressed. Head to the thrift store. See where the day takes us from there. I would say it was a pretty successful trip to the thrift. Ended up passing on the two pairs of pants. The blue jeans were cool. They had a cool fade to them, but they were just gonna be too long. And the green ones were cool as well, but kind of already have a green pair of cargo pants. So, so passed on both of those. Found this sweater. It's like a vintage Woolrich um, sweater vest. It's a tag, tag size medium. Um, usually I wear like extra large, but I tried it on and it's a little tighter fit, but it's working for me now. I actually had to switch up my fit just to make it work uh, so I could wear it to class today. Got really lucky with the wild jersey. I've been wanting one of those for a while, so I thought that was kind of a come up. Got that for $10. Got the shoes. I'm gonna throw up a picture here. Just kind of what I'm thinking of wearing these shoes with. I don't really know if I can pull that outfit off, but hopefully I can. Got to get a pair of trousers, a pair of slacks to try to make those work. And then as I was walking out, I found these two bags as well. One was like a vintage Nike. I, I don't even know what it is, like a crossbody, like purse type of things. And then there was also just that vintage, almost like a cow skin, like old school. I don't even really know how to describe it. bag. There wasn't a tag on that, so she ended up giving me that for free, which was nice. And got the Nike one for like $2, so if I don't use them, I mean, that's $2 right there. Overall, I would say a good trip. Excited to, to wear everything and try it out. All right, Thursday night. No, Wednesday night. Just got home from practice. I have to edit some some video for for a client. And while that's happening, Kreft is going to be putting on a culinary expertise, a display of his culinary expertise. Culinary He's going to be putting on a culinary clinic, putting together some sushi. What are you making? What, okay, we're gonna do an exclusive interview with the chef here. Chef, what are we gonna be having tonight? Tonight we'll be having a spicy shrimp roll and a spicy crab roll. Wow, that just sounds incredible. I'll probably uh, add some clips in here of Kraft making a delicious dinner. I think that's it for now. You got anything else to say? I'm out. He's out. First so perfect. <laughs>
good morning. It is actually Thursday today. Got the days mixed up a little bit yesterday. One thing that I've noticed through this vlog when I'm talking to you guys is I like to say um and so but just a lot of filler words. So that is something that I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to work on, try to consciously realize what I'm doing it um, and try to fix that. There's another arm right there. Woke up this morning, I went around, did a bunch of cleaning in the kitchen, a bunch of cleaning in the living room and the bedroom. I feel like cleaning and organizing is just a good way for me to reset, take my mind off of whatever's stressing me out, whatever I'm thinking about. So yeah, I really, I really do enjoy just organizing and cleaning and vacuuming and washing dishes and, and dumb stuff like that. Also just got done doing a, a really good yoga session. I would say it's been a productive morning for me so far. The rest of the day isn't too busy. Got class, got practice later this afternoon. We're getting really close to game day. Gonna go get ready for the day, putting off it on. So I'll catch up with you guys after that. It is 11.40, got class at noon. Went to get some lunch quick. Had to get Arby's, went with the French dip. Shout out Chase Stuver. Got the fit on, I'll step outside quick. Down on the ground here, super windy out. We got the uh, Carhartt double knee that got earlier this week. Got it on with the cropped vintage Allen Jackson tee. And then just rocking the New Balance 550s. Shout out Braden Burns. It's a Braden Burns shoe, so yeah, nothing crazy. Just a slight little, slight little fit right now. So yeah, there's the fit. Salt tonight. Salt is a college ministry. Great way to get around people, get around your boys, your friends, and just worship God. So that's always Thursday night. So excited for that tonight. That's it for now. We're in meetings right now. Parker's got a question. Is rice a vegetable? I don't, I'm going to say no, it's not. Yeah, I don't think it is either. I feel like it's got to be either grain or starch or something. Who, who are we here with today? The ski guy. The ski guy. And over on your left side there is Mr. October himself. It's Brocktober. It is, it is Brocktober. We got Bo walking in here. Hey, Bo. Bro, Brock, what are, what are we doing tonight? Where are we going tonight? Salt St. Paul. Let's go. We got Jack Carver covering up the video right now so nobody can see us. Do you have anything to say? Covering up the video right now? Oh, is it behind me right now? <laughs> Jesus is great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Ski guy, you got anything else to say? Is this getting posted somewhere? Okay, so I can't say anything. Crazy. No, this is gonna go on YouTube. Okay, I won't. I won't say what I want to say then. <laughs> okay, everybody that's showering with shampoo and conditioner, you need to stop. And body wash, you need to stop. Beef towel only. When you realize that your goal in life is not to be comfortable, it's not to seek pleasure, but it's to live a Christ-like life. When you realize that your goal is not for you to accrue more status, but have your soul be so sanctified and made holy that before a holy and righteous God, he can say, well done, my good and faithful servant. If your goals, your priorities change from what other people think about you to what you will be like the day after you die, standing before the Lord, then you don't have to run from suffering, but you can actually accept it as the primary way the Bible tells us that God will make us holy. It is Friday. As you can probably see, got the haircut this morning. Got faded up nice. I'll do a little spin for you. Got the uh, green car hearts on that you saw earlier in the vlog. It's a not a very nice day out again, which is unfortunate. Going to try to go take some pictures. I'm gonna freeze my butt off. We'll see. One day till game day. Let's go. got none taking pictures. I'll put some up on the screen right now. Just from the first looks, those might be some of my favorite pictures I've ever taken of myself. It's always hard for me trying to find a spot that one is cool and two is not just in the middle of everybody because I mean, to be honest, I kind of look like an idiot. kind of feel like an idiot when I'm setting my tripod up and just standing there and posing in front of it. 
people walk by and look at me and stare at me. At the end of the day, it's something that I'm having fun doing and I enjoy doing. So I try to remind myself that it doesn't really matter what other people think as long as I'm conducting myself in a, in a respectful way. So yeah, overall, really good experience. So go check out the post on Instagram, go give it a like. Concordia will defer and start with the ball in the second half. Concordia out in dark blue, the Cougars in white. Temperature about 50 degrees at kickoff. Fans rising as we get set for this homecoming game. Come out here first and 10 from their own 28. Richardson to the left of Quartz, he looks to throw. Drew Anke has his first catch of the afternoon. Quartz rolling right. Looking for Anki, he will make the grab and have the first down. Yeah. Room on the right side, makes a move at the five and stumbles in for the score. Well-deserved hugs from the fans as Concordia a chance to take their first lead. Way down to five before they snapped it. Deep shot, Anki open on the left, makes the grab and takes it to the two yard line. Well guys, it is already Sunday. Didn't really keep you guys up to date much Friday night or really at all Saturday. I tried to record a video Saturday morning talking about the game, but the audio didn't pick it up on my AirPods, so it's just me sitting there. Blue flicker, touchdown. So Detroit Lions. Close game yesterday. Didn't didn't get the win, unfortunately. Def definitely could have beat them. If you're watching this now, I appreciate it. Working all the way through, making it all the way through. This is definitely something new for me, so... I've always just wanted to try it out. Get to use some creative techniques and creative styles like I was talking about earlier in the video. Yeah, that'll be it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys.